I learned a lot from Kanye West too. Like, I'm not one of the people who like are too big to like go sit around him for you know four or five months. A lot of my friends and peers are like, the Big Sean and them get a lot of money, so <laughs> maybe everywhere. But me, I like to just sit up under him and just soak everything I can from him. So, like my mom always say, "Hey, you in Paris? Are you having fun?" I'll be like, "No, I'm not having fun." You know what I mean? Because it's like you get to a certain level, like. Ye preaches like responsibility. Like we don't have the luxury to just rhyme words just because they sound like this the next word. If I say this, everybody gonna go crazy. I can't say that if it don't fit who I am, if it don't fit the concept, if it don't fit the story, if it don't fit the characters, if it don't fit the mood. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be dead on. So that's something I learned from him, just being very strict on what I put out and what I do. So a lot of a lot of people don't know when I first got with Ye, I was very like young, like. It wasn't young in as far as age, but as far as like music. I was from Atlanta, so I thought the biggest things I ever seen was like Jeezy and T.I. It was like the biggest shit I ever seen. Till I got with Ye and I didn't understand like, yo, why are these people staking outside your house? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do we go everywhere and all these white people going crazy? Like, you know what I mean? So I was like, uh, just sitting up under him, man. I'm learning how to, you know, put my artwork together, put my videos together, put songs together, build records from scratch. Like, I used to just get beats emailed to me. Now I don't do that anymore. You, I have to work on the beat from the kick to the sample to the melody, everything. So I, it's just been a learning process. We bring the intellectual hip hop side of music from Atlanta. You know, it's just a lot of street niggas in Atlanta. It's <laughs> a really interesting point, though, if people don't focus on like, I mean, obviously, it's an old story to say that people in South Carolina have this one fuck and they've been running about for a long time. Yeah. But in terms of the intellectual side, mm -hmm. that right. is when out how many cats come out. Yeah. It's the same as New York. Man, you know what's so funny? I always tell Mike Brinkley, man, I can't wait to put out an album because I don't want to waste none of my stories on my mixtape. Like, what you guys heard from me is like, great. Like, it's dope. It's, hey. But my real story, my real life is like a tearjerker. Like, it's like, it's like touching like a pedophile or something. It's like, <laughs> it's a metaphor, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? it's like that touching. It's like, Damn, like he really said that to us. Last night, I had said some shit that really stuck with me. Def Jam called me when I dropped the History Project, so I appreciate the phone call. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> so no, I'm just um, really getting my, you know, ducks in a row. I'm really thinking about what producers I want to work with, what artists, you know, different things like that. So it's very, it's at an infant stage, you know, so once it gets to, you know, give me about two, three months, I can tell you more, but I just got started, so. Definitely, album. I've had a lot of time. I don't know if you know what other people said about what's very nice way. I'm very appreciative of it. Yeah, I don't care. It's nice. And he introduced me to his son. I'm like, oh my God, I know your son. He's a fucking lion king. He's hip hop baby. I'm like, oh, yeah. I remember when he was, I remember everything about your fucking life. That's yeah. great. And then he just sat in front and watched Gambino and then. Childish? And then, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know Childish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. That's my guy. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Stone Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My nephew uh, went to uh, Devonte. He went to um, to my elementary school. He went to my elementary school on Black History Month, and he wanted to do his Black History Project on me. And they told him that he couldn't. And he came on and told me like he was depressed. I was depressed too. Like, how you can't do? Like, I'm the most popular dude from this city. Like, you know, on my side of town. So, you know, it just stuck with me. It was something that stuck with me for a whole year. That was like last February. So this new February coming around, I had like these dope, like I had like five, six records that kind of fit what I was trying to do. So I just added like six more and it kind of, then just revamped the old ones I had and laid new verses and you know, so it just came, it came like that. But definitely my nephew, when he came back and told me I wasn't uh, influential enough. So I just wanted to keep pushing that. Yeah, we, 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 host, uh, we host a radio show in Japan, and it, we, uh, we want you to shout out ours. Okay, DJ. Tomoko and, and you <laughs> yes. Hey, y'all know who it is, man. So how to press. Big shout out to Japan and my girls, DJ Mo. Uh, DJ Tomoko and you can laugh. Hey. It's just, it's a feeling, man. I want to come in. I want to give the energy. You know, I want to, I want people to get into it first. So I get them into it. Then I let them know where I came from. And then I let them know what I'm a part of. And then at the end of it, I just let you know who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like the music's cool. Side High's cool. Def Jam, Good music, all that's cool. But I'm really Sedell Young. And then I, once I get to Is It Me and Sedell Young, 
I just take my glasses off and like I lose, I kind of just go into another place. So. I got my first pound from my dog. Like I think that's what corrupted me. <laughs> Last night me and God talked. He said you can't complain. Look how much your watch cost. No, I ain't getting pies on. But I'm the best thing that happened to the streets since the sidewalk. 